mentioned that I was taking my 940 to get detailed. I've already dropped him off two days ago at Pride and Performance in Preston, Leyland, Leyland to be exact. Um, so yeah, I'm go on my way to pick it up. I'm absolutely mega excited. The guy who's been doing it has been sending me loads of pictures and getting me all hyped up and it looks absolutely amazing. I've not seen it in person yet, but honestly, from the photos, it looks like a real big difference. I did get some footage when I dropped it off, so I'll insert that now and then I'll get some more footage when I get there. Wow. I knew it would come up nice, that colour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't like going on this colour. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It smells nice as well. It's <laughs> cold. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Compared to what it was like. Mm. Wow. Well, Fucking even. I know. I'm just saying, I know. It's not flickering on, on camera. We're all. No. I know. I know. No, I. It's mint. Even these bits. <laughs> The wheels are actually in good nick, aren't they really? Yeah, they're not bad. Mm. Took a bit of scrubbing and they're not perfect, perfect what they No, they look mean. Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> no yeah. Hello. So um since I obviously since the last video I went and took my car to get detailed, which I told you I was gonna do. Um I meant to do a video just about the detailing but it wasn't long enough i didn't get enough footage and ever since i picked up the car it has pretty much rained non-stop so it's not the cleanest anymore um because it's just typical isn't it um but yeah so this is like a follow-up video and i also got my windows tinted which i said i was going to do in the last video as well but again <laughs> i messed up with that i um forgot to take my camera because I was rushing when I was leaving. So I didn't get any footage of the window tinting process, where I went or anything, but I'll insert some videos now, videos, photos. I'll insert some, insert some photos. Um, I got it done at Luna Window Tinting, which is it class, it's classed as Eccles, but it's basically near the traffic centre. Um, I went there because my brother took his Skoda VRS there. Um, and he said the guys were really really nice and it's a really good job it's got a lifetime warranty on it and it's just good good work so I, I thought right I'll just go there then um, so I got it done there and they look absolutely boss I'll show you in a minute 
it looks proper gangster now <laughs> compared to what it was <laughs> like the conservatory is now a van basically it looks good and no one can see in so yeah that's always a that's always a positive so yeah it looks good i'll uh, walk you around the car again obviously there's not an awful lot to go through because all i've done is got it cleaned um and obviously the wind has tinted but it has made a big difference everyone said it looks a lot better Oh, and there's one more thing. <laughs> I put a sticker on the window screen. Because I am basic, obviously. I put a window screen sticker on. I'll show you that as well. It just made me laugh. When I saw it, I just thought I've got to have it. So that's where we are. And I'll show you now. By the way, guys, I forgot to mention this. I am an avid mo monster drinker. I have a can of monster every day. Yes, I know it's terrible for me. But I do. Um, There's no cup holders in a Volvo 940. Which is pretty horrific. So I have to keep putting it in here and this can, not this can, but the cans have fallen over in here about five times now. So whether I make something to like wedge in there or get one of them ones, but the vents are so small. I don't even think you get a cup holder on that. You know, the ones that stick to the vents or you can get them that go on your door card as well, I think. Oh, that's still on there from the window turning. <laughs> Because he said don't use the back windows, I just remembered. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, literally the only thing I dislike about Volvo. There's no cup holders for my Daily Monster. So yeah. Okay, so like I said, it's not the cleanest anymore. But it's also a mega window again. What is going on? Um, you can see it's definitely more purple. Um, I feel bad showing you this because it's not even clean anymore. But it looked amazing. I mean, you'll see that from the videos when I was picking up like how shocked I was with how good it looked and this is my window screen sticker that says Speed Hunters which is basically like I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Speed Hunters well it says Speed Hunters because it's a Swedish car I don't know I just felt like I had to have it it just made me laugh and I was like I've got to have it so yeah this is the back windows like the yeah, gangster full limo tints um I wasn't sure what what to go for but in the end because obviously i'm putting my bike in there i just thought you know what i'm just gonna go full limo so this is like the best the not the bad what's the word darkest tint you can get um it's definitely everyone says it looks miles better um it's not so much the conservatory anymore it's just more like a hearse even more so now <laughs> so yeah um that's the windows and i'll show you from the like, looking out of Like you can see through them fine. I was a bit concerned about getting it done for reversing and stuff. I was thinking like, oh, I'm not gonna be able to see through the back window. It's gonna be a nightmare at night, but it's actually not that bad at all. So yeah, pleased with those. Um, but yeah, so this is how he is currently. A bit of sunlight on him, but obviously I've still got a lot to do. Um, probably next, to be honest, is gonna be getting rid of this exhaust tip because it's just upsetting to be honest i just can't deal with this exhaust like why so i think and obviously i wanted to get rid of the tow bar as well but i'm starting to debate that because it's a bit of a parking sensor <laughs> like at least i know if i hit anything it's just the tow bar reversing it because it's long as fuck <laughs> so yeah i might paint that because obviously it's all rusty i might paint it and keep it i'm not sure but we'll see um so yeah i think probably exhaust we'll get some wind deflectors because that's just like the basic bitch mod of every car isn't it um and then i i've got the money for wheels now and to get it lowered but i just cannot decide right so i'm sat back in the car again because it's too windy and you can't hear anything i'm saying I know I need to sort out a microphone. I will do it at some point, but yeah. Um, so like I said, the exhaust is gonna be next. I'll just get an end um, tip for now, probably just to get rid of that snake horrible thing that's on it currently. Um, like I said about the tub, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Might keep it and paint it, might just get rid of it. I don't know. Um, I'll get some wind deflectors. And then we come to the the thing about wheels. Like, I just want it to be right. I don't want to mess up the wheels. I feel like 
even though these cars do tend to suit a lot of wheels i just want the right ones and i'm really struggling to decide on what there's a few I like i originally wanted five spoke chunky ones because of the the way the car is it's so big and bold i figured that they would look the best but there also is like some bbs style ones that look good on them but i also don't want bbs's because they're so overdone i just i don't want them and i don't want any chrome i would like a dish but no chrome so sorry i had to stop there because someone was walking up behind me and i'm not comfortable vlogging in front of people yet probably never will be so yeah i'll just carry on where i was so yeah i would like a dish because i think it, they do suit the car but i just don't know like i like the compromotive m05 um there's one called speedline challenge i like those um bowler b ones bowler b tens there's a few that i have in mind rotor grids that's not really what i wanted but i also think it would look sick so i don't know i honestly just don't know and then obviously i need to lower it and what the thing with the wheels is there's so much to think about like obviously i need to get the right stud pattern and um, the right offset and it's just i need them to be wide because currently the gap between the wheel and the arch is like this big so yeah i need to sort that it's just mind-blowing but i've decided on color i'm gonna go with bronze definitely because i think with the purple that is gonna look sick so i want bronze with the purple that's about the only thing i've decided on so maybe in the next video i might have got some wheels i don't know it just depends if i can carry on being indecisive or not but yeah i don't anyone else have this much stress choosing wheels or is it just me because i'm finding it difficult <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to um catch up on here it would have been better if i could watch on the car rather than me just sitting here but again it's windy you can't hear me so yeah um i don't know what the next video is going to be i don't know how long it's going to be till i do the next video if there's any sort of video requests you'd like regarding the 940 let me know and i'll try and get something done because i need, I need some ideas anyway so and i've got a new gopro as well so a gopro here on nine so i might even be able to do like some proper vlogging stuff and i'm gonna try and insert some b-roll here so I'm going to go around the car now with the GoPro and hopefully get some cool B-roll. But I don't know. So if I don't, sorry to disappoint. But yeah, so I'll just probably leave the video here. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time whenever that might be.